So good morning to you on this Thursday morning. We continue with the story of Jonah. Today from uh, chapter 1 verse 17 and chapter 2. And the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the stomach of the fish and he said, I called out of my distress to the Lord and he answered me. I cried for help from the depth of Sheol. You heard my voice, for you had cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the current engulfed me. All your breakers and billows passed over me. So I said, I've been expelled from your sight. Nevertheless, I will look again toward your holy temple. Water encompassed me to the point of death. The great deep engulfed me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. I descended to the roots of the mountains. The earth with its bars was around me forever. But you have brought up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. While I was fainting away, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came to you, into your holy temple. Those who regard vain idols forsake their faithfulness. But I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. That which I have vowed I will pay. Salvation is from the Lord. Then the Lord commanded the fish and vomited. It vomited Jonah up onto dry land. So here we see what extraordinary measures God used to bring this man back to repentance, back to obedience. As we saw yesterday, God had told Jonah to get up and to go to Nineveh and to proclaim uh, God's message to them. And he ran in the opposite direction, got into a ship bound for Tarshish, which is completely the opposite direction. And God had sent a storm and the ship was being battered. And finally, when they found out it was Jonah's fault, he said to the people on the ship, you throw me into the water and the waters will calm. They did exactly that. And a great miracle occurred there as well because those hardened seamen who were uh, pagans suddenly started offering sacrifices and made vows to the true Lord God. So God used that situation to bring their hearts to himself. Then we see that God prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. But God kept him alive. And while he was there, he turned back to God. He repented. I remembered the Lord. My prayer came to you, into your holy temple. Those who regard vain idols forsake their faithfulness, but I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving that which I have vowed I will pay. Salvation is from the Lord. The Lord heard his prayer. The fish vomited Jonah up onto dry land. And as we'll see tomorrow, Jonah then went and did what God had told him to do in the first place. He could have saved himself a lot of trouble had he gone directly, uh, but God will always... Uh, get the job done no matter what it takes he will use whatever extraordinary measures are needed God owns everything in the universe he commands everything he can use a fish he can use a donkey he can use whatever he needs to get the job done Lord God Heavenly Father we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus your son and our Lord we thank you for this new day that you have granted to us we thank you for the lessons that we can learn from Jonah Help us, Lord, to obey you when we hear your voice, not to be like Jonah who ran in the opposite direction. We ask for your forgiveness for the times that we've done exactly that, when we've heard you speak to us and we harden our hearts and we go in a different direction. Lord, thank you that in your mercy you will use whatever means are necessary to bring us back to you. I pray, Lord, that you would give us a heart that is obedient to you, Help us, Lord, forgive us for the times that we haven't been. Our desire is to be good and faithful servants of you, to be children that bring glory and honor to your name. Help us also, also as Jonah did, to offer to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving, no matter what circumstances we find ourselves in. You are a loving God. We love you, bless you, praise and worship you. We, Lord, just commit ourselves anew to you today. We ask your blessing over the country in which we live in, as your word directs, we pray for our governments and all in authority. We pray that you give them wisdom and understanding. Help them in all things, Lord, to bring honor to your name and to do that which is right for the people. We pray for the Ukraine. We pray for an end to this horrible war. We pray for an end to the suffering. We pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray, Lord, for the soul that doesn't know you yet, that today would be the day they open their hearts to you. We ask, Lord, that our lives would be living examples of what it means to serve you and to show people your love and compassion wherever we go. 
I pray for every listener, Lord. I pray for everyone who tunes into these messages, that you would just give each one of us a true heart of obedience, a heart that loves you, serves you, and honors you. May the words of our mouth and meditation of our hearts be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, our God and Redeemer. So now we combine all of our prayers by praying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow.